Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, I'm the man on the sticks. Yes, sir. And we are playing Assassin's Creed. Uh, Viking Town Daddy Boy. How did you see me? There's no way you saw me. We're playing this crash with the Hallarara. You're just like killing things, right? You just opened up some gates for your boys? Uh this is actually one of the encampments. There's some there's some like high tier loot in here. And okay, wanna, some wanna, big boys, some Yeah, I wanna grab bucks. I wanna grab that. So in this game you have to use your your vision. Your lore lot. sense? Yeah, you have to use your lore sense a little bit more. Then. They're about due for a new Tomb Raider, speaking of lore. They probably are. I could see it happening. It's been like two years. <laughs> You're just like crouching. Like, I know, what dude. I'm, I'm so bad. Ooh, this is yes. the new weapon. Dude, you should be a male boy, dude. A male boy? <laughs> a flail boy? <laughs> a, ma a male mace boy. I should be a male boy. <laughs> a chain male boy. Dude, it takes so long to hit. I know, it's like you just like swing it around and like if you're not in close, you're just looking like your figure eight. Yeah, exactly. It's like you have to go heavy hits with it. I don't know. Alright, well, we're gonna see. And you still oh. can miss. You got like the ultimate drill. Oh my god, that just do a ton of damage though. Oh, they got him on you too, dude. No, no, they gotta catch it. Just knocked him down and then he just beat him. Him while he's on the ground. He's like, well, <laughs> I'm defenseless. And you're just like, flop, 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 flop. <laughs> he stood no chance. Yeah, that's Hello. Nice. What's that glowing gold thing? That's the high, That's the loot I want to get. Oh, dude, you're about to get a legendary friend. You're mine. mine. I'm not yours, though. You're mine. <laughs> All right, I get it now. Yeah, boy. Starting to, starting to understand. See the ones and zeros, Jonas. That's nice. All right, give me my. What do I get? get Door bar, dude. Oh, dude, that means. Oh, you gotta I climb into the tower, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> you gotta be a wood boy. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> How, oh, what's your take on Woody Woodpecker as a character and like Woody <laughs> Woodpecker in Memorandum? Dude. Huh? What's Even your as a kid, I thought it was kind of dumb. It was never like the, the the favorite cartoon. It wasn't my jam, dude. I would be like, ah, ah, ah. yeah, dude, like, no, dude, I'm good. I don't remember anything about him except for that annoying laugh. And that was his thing. That was his shtick. It was I'm going to laugh annoyingly, and uh, that that's that's Woody Woodpecker. And then he acts wacky. <laughs> He does wacky things. I need to things. watch a Woody Woodpecker cartoon on YouTube and to, like get to, the full experience. Yeah, what. to even is remember. It, is that uh, copyrighted? Oh uh, yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. But like, I don't remember. Did Woody Woodpecker have like cartoon powers? I don't remember anything about him except for the laugh. I literally just remember him laughing. I just remember the laugh too, but I don't know if he had like powers. Or... It's kind of the same as like Grape Ape, because I remember Grape Ape, but I don't remember anything that Grape Ape did except right on top of that little van with a Hot Wheel car. Now I'm pretty sure Grape Ape had powers. Like he either had like the bag of like where you can just like take anything out of it or something. Or he had like the power to like lift cars or something. He was big, strong yeah. grape ape, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was a big, strong grape. He's ape. like a purple gorilla, just a grape ape. I was like, like what? When you think about those cartoons, like what was Droopy? What was that? He was just like he was like he was just depression. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. You gave me a depressed cartoon character. Yeah, he like freaking Eeyore. Dude. Yeah, dude. Hey Bert, Snuffleupagus. There's always <laughs> mental health was represented in all those, dude. They just didn't so call true. it that back then, dude. It's so true. Yeah, they tried to be inclusive a little bit. Like, oh y'all everybody has the friend that talks negative all the time. They don't realize it's depression back then. Oh, uh, we all know Snuffy, those he's a bummer. <laughs> what a downer. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you suffering from the loss of a grandparent. Could you yeah. maybe have yeah, some? <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> maybe you should have some reverence for that. Yeah, exactly, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. It's... They're dealing with their family not accepting their life choices. Maybe you should <laughs> think about that. Maybe that's why he's down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know where to go. 
I think I'm on the right track, though. Yeah, I was headed in the, in the right direction. Okay. You're, oh, there's a few bird points over there, too, dude, on the other side yeah. of uh, the promised land. There are. We are going to head that direction. You have two skill points, still. Do I? Yeah. Jonas, are you sure about that? I I'm have no skill points. What's the two at the bottom of the corner, dude? Two hearts. Is that rations? Those are my rations. Oh, yes. I thought that was a skill blinker. In fact, dude. I'm just going to use one so I can at least pick some up. What is that? These? Oh, that's just the sunlight glance. It's just the sun shining on you. No, I like this. Keep it. Keep the song going. I want to hear the. I want to hear the sunshine song. Sing it. <laughs> I was well, singing it. I got interrupted. My <laughs> <laughs> What's the one they used to sing on the Partridge Family? I have no idea. You never seen of it? Like I've seen that show less than I can probably count on two hands. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't watch that one. Even like when I used to watch like the Monkeys TV show in oh, the eighties. Jesus. <laughs> then that show was that was like a replay. But it's the same time era of show. It just I, that was the one that like it was except, dumb, dude. Except one was like a band. hey hey with the monkeys. People say we monkey you around. Yeah, dude. Do you remember they used to just just give bands TV shows? Yeah. And they were just like, hey, it's the monkeys TV show. Didn't the Beatles have a TV show? Yeah, it's, it made some movies. Yeah, yeah. Hard Days Night. It's been a hard day's night. Spice World. Yeah, yeah, like it's essentially those are all the same movie. Spice World. <laughs> what else? Uh, was there? What's the other one? Uh, oh my god, I can't think. Never mind, dude. No, there, there's more. Yeah, there's definitely. There's more. the uh, any ICP movie. Oh, Big Money Hustlers. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oof, Oscar worthy. Holler yeah. if you hear me. And there was like a the the. the uh, Oh, you know, we should look up that and watch that sometime. What? <laughs> Some of the Masterpiece films. I hope they're... <laughs> I got the hookup. You know I've seen this? that. You saw I got, I saw the, hook I got the hookup? Yeah, those two guys get all those phones that don't have a... <laughs> and they just sell everybody the phones and they stop working because they get shut off and everyone's like, dude, you sold me a phone for 30 bucks with unlimited everything. <laughs> and they're like... It's a phone for 30 bucks with unlimited everything. You think it was going to last forever? Like, it's 30 bucks, dude. Uh, <laughs> that was actually a thing. I had a burnout phone at, at one point in time yeah. in my life. Yeah, the first pager I ever had was just like, hey, here's X amount of money for this pager. It'll work for a while. <laughs> I was like, really? Yeah, I was like, okay. What'd and then it stopped working one day, and I was like, oh, I should just go get one. It was like eight bucks a month. And I was like, oh, I can do that. <laughs> I can do eight a, bucks a month. A pager, though. Whoa. Those, we didn't have cell phones, bro. Yeah, explain, explain what a pager is. I want a more, more like just. Oh, for whatever. People. You know what they exactly. I know what they are, but people might not know what it a pager a little, is. It was like a little box the size of I don't know half a deck of cards. Yeah. And they probably don't know what a deck of cards is. <laughs> Uh, wow, I didn't say that. <laughs> but, like, no, the original ones were, like, about the size of a business card, and then they shrunk yeah. down to about about yeah. the size of, like, three-quarters of a business card. That's pretty accurate. And it was, yeah, it was just a screen, and you would call it, and the number would go, doot, 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 and then you just typed in your phone number, and then it would show up on the screen of the page. It would go, beep, beep, and then it would be like, here's the number, and you knew how to call that number. <laughs> or, or but people would get all tricky, and they'd be like, oh, I'll spell boobs, dude. Or, like, put 911 because it's important or emergency. <laughs> spell boobs, dude. Yeah, dude. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was like, it was neat because I remember, like, bef like that's how, like, my dad would get a hold of me. Like, he was cool with me having it because I could go do whatever. And he if he needed me, he would just page me. And, I, he, and he knew within, like, a half hour or something, I would try to get to a phone to call him because there was no – that's why you had a pager. There wasn't yeah. a cell phone. So you would find a pay phone or a friend's house or whatever, and you just – and I would call him within, like, a little bit. And, like, yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a good way to get a hold of you when you're, like – I mean, or, do or doctors have it when they – Why didn't you just text? Look at you. A battle <laughs> Just what we need. Oh, and what do you need this battle-hardened warrior for? One day, we will be the greatest warriors beneath our banner. Skulls will write songs off the wolf pack. I don't think but I can do this, by the way. But we must first practice our raiding. You can't? <laughs> Going on a raid. Then we shall raid. Three wolves, and I will be the fourth to your lead. Wolf pack! Yeah, I'm probably going to die here. 
Are these really strong boys? Yeah, we're going to save, I think, <laughs> before I, uh, you know. Yeah, suggested power 280. Yeah, you know. You're, po- you're 13. Shh, it's okay, dude. It's okay. We're going to give it a... I'm just gonna give it a shot. You always like to try, okay? I You're gonna give it a maybe. It's a joke. Yeah, maybe they they want you to think that you can't do it, and then you're like, I can do anything, and they're like, You're right, you can. You win. Exactly. Am I Makes a to lot fo- of sense. I get it. Am I supposed to follow you guys? Yeah, dude, follow them over there. See what's up. What's up? Is at the village. You want some? Dead. Oh, wow. <laughs> you Got ran him. up around. That's not even a real guy. <laughs> Killed him, though. Downed. Kill him, dude. Kill what him. else do I do? That's it. You won. Did I do- what, are we- what are we doing, kids? <laughs> I don't want to play this game with you, you idiot kids. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, here's a guy. Slab. Oh. Got him. This is just, you're just practicing. We're just playing games at this point. Yeah, I just run around stabbing people in the throat, making them dead. <laughs> they're, just, they're, just, they're just like hay statues. What do you call these? Uh, Scarecrows? Scare, yeah, they're, they're scare- murder crows, dude. Murder hornets. Dude. What? Yeah, they got some. Yeah, I heard that you like found queens and stuff, dude. Yeah, it's 200. like some weird. Yeah, freaking... so I mean, they, they feel like there's some more, but they stopped 200 more nests from forming by finding that one nest. Oh, that's that's good, man. I, I don't... Yeah, dude, that's exponential growth, dude. Like, I still, I still kind of feel like it's like uh, you can't get them all. Well, they're um, I I was I've been like I. Anytime I see a story about it that pops up anywhere on Reddit or whatever, I'll read it because I've been ever since I first heard about them, and like they've been like following them, and they thought there was three nests <laughs> that they had like tried to track, and they found one of them, and they had like two hundred queens in it. So they're like, did we get all these, or did any of these queens get out and form new? So it's like they just got to keep searching the areas for them, dude. They're just. It's like, but they're doing the right thing. They're trying to eradicate it. So even if they're growing, they're stopping the exponential growth by finding some of the early nests rather than like, just yeah. like yep, whatever, let, then finding it in like a year. I'm wondering how they even realize like how to find, I guess they like tied uh, things around them. Yeah, to, dude, like, I think, uh, yeah. They, homing they, devices, they I guess. They caught one in like, and censored them or whatever to lead them back to the nest or whatever. You like, they catch it in a, probably in a container of some sort of plastic container, I would imagine, to get them to go in there by dumbness because they're an insect. And then. <laughs> they go in there by dumbness. <laughs> I like that. I mean, <laughs> I remember, dude. You know, they're rem- stupid. They're going there. They're dumb. We had a bee's nest in the front porch of my house when I was a kid. Like, in the, we had, like, a concrete like a concrete foundation. There was, like, a wooden porch sitting on top of it. Right in, like, the cusp of the two into the foundation, the, these, like, yellow jackets built a, a nest in, in that area. I don't know if it was in the wood or in the brick or whatever. The cinder block, whatever. And my dad took a Folgers coffee can and uh, got and hung some wire on it. I don't know what he attached it with, but like, you know, made it look like almost like a paint can, but it was like a coffee can, you know? Yeah. And he hammered a nail in above the nest and he put, he filled the coffee can halfway up with gasoline and that sounds safe already. No, and like, it, and like it just and hung it from a nail over the nest over like two days. And then and that killed them. All the bees went into the gas, and the fumes like knock them out, and they fall into the gas and they die. He, there was, I remember, I remember him doing that, and then I remember when when he was done, he like got, poured the gas out or whatever he did with it, and then laid out newspaper on his workbench. It was like, dude, it, this workbench was like 10, 12 foot long, so it was like a few newspapers laid out, at least six feet. And maybe like three foot wide. <clears throat> Solid bees. He dumped all the bees out on newspaper. There was like hundreds. And they all just went into the gas and died. Really? I mean, I killed the nest, obviously. But I was like, I just go into the gas, dude. Just. I didn't realize bees were stupid. Right, dude. And I was like, that's it... one. That's a ton of bees. <laughs> that was like my first bees. impression. It's a ton of bees. But yeah, but like, I don't know if it was like when they try to get in the nest, the fumes knock them out or they're attracted to gas or like, I don't know, but there was, there was hundreds of them. Oh yeah, dude. I hate seeing, uh, bugs in mass quantity too. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's the worst. Think about how many are out there. You just don't see them all together. Right. 
Like I've seen like uh like the person who invents the the machine that like takes bu- bugs off of crops and stuff. Yeah. And they just like go up and down the fields like brushing the bugs into this large container. Oh and yeah. And there's just dude. so many like, of them. I hate bees as is. But if like I came into contact like if all the bees in Austin were in one place at the same time and I encountered them all, I would probably have a heart attack. <laughs> Because, like, they're gross already, and to see that large of a quantity of them together, I would just be like, I don't know what I, it would just be like, it's unnerving to think about. It is. It is. It's gross. Yeah, dude. Like, if, like, you were just, like, surrounded by 10,000 beetles. Right, dude. They're not even bad, but you're just like, oh, my God. Like, I'm not even grossed out by bugs, but just the the thought of that, dude. Like, ew. Even 10,000 flies. Right. But that's, I mean, look, that's how Joe Rogan got his start. Why, oh, Fear Factor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, dude. Let me tell you something, Joe Rogan. <laughs> no rocks. <laughs> dude, that's like, just... would you get in, like, would you do any of that Fear Factor stuff? Dude, I used to watch that stuff all the time back in the day. Like when getting I, a I was, like, tub a full of tarantulas? No, nah, dude, I'm good. You know, you wouldn't I would, do, for like, the for, money, you wouldn't do it. For the amount of money that you would win, it's not that much, dude. I'm good. Oh, what? I'm not, dude. I don't want to do it, Just a few dude. moments of being uncomfortable? Yeah, I mean, like... Yeah, that's right. right. No, that's right. I mean, no, dude. Yeah, just dump some spiders on me, dude. Just <laughs> 10k, <laughs> 10K possibly, or for no reason 10K. at all. 10k for 45 seconds or 60 yeah, seconds. Yeah, but you're competing, so. so you got to do more crazy ish, dude. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to eat stuff. Too. Yeah, dude, you're gonna have to, like, put it in your butt. No, what? No, look, I mean, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Nobody ever had to do that on that show, dude. That show, dude. It was crazy because they had different stuff. Like so a lot of it was like the the critter gross out, but then they'd be like, "Walk this beam across two buildings with fire on your head," and you're like, yeah. "Whoa, dude, wait!" All right, yeah, that's a little much. Like, <laughs> you're like, "Oh, but they're like, but you're safe. We have harnesses." And you're like, "I'm a th- <laughs> I don't want to be safe. Yeah, I'll be safe be... on the building. That's cool. Yeah, I want to be home. <laughs> right, Can dude. I be it's home? Like just in all sort of like the we're gonna do those like crazy." Think, uh, dude, there was all that show was that was a cool show, dude. It was it was interesting back in the day. It was a pretty cool show. Uh, yeah, dude, stuff, and you guys can hang out. Yep, pause and read. All right, are you ready for it, Jonas? Are uh, you ready? Please sing. The are song. you ready for our favorite song? Show. Yeah. Turn it up. <laughs> dude. Yeah. Every eagle point, dude. Every eagle point. They're like, you I did it. it. You synchronized. It. This is the synchronization song. Alright, can I jump down here? I should not have done that. <laughs> oh, dude, almost every eagle point you can I jump know. off of. Yeah, dude, that's, they, they tricked you. Dude. They, they did, did you trick wrong. me. It's fine, though. No. There was a ration down there. It didn't hurt too bad either. I don't like, know how right. we always make you think it's cool. Yeah, I don't know how far you can fall without taking damage, but that's definitely farther than you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be farther than I could fall Loot. without taking. That would be farther than I could fall without taking damage. If I fell from that high up, I'm probably you know just wrap me up in a casket. Yeah, dude, you, your legs <laughs> would shatter underneath your body weight. Yeah. Like, even if you weighed 105 pounds, if you fell that far, your legs would just be like, and just crinkle up underneath you. <laughs> All right, so I have no business going this way, and it's probably a bad idea. Yeah, dude, it's cool, dude. You but, gotta uh, just speak to Sigurd. I'm going, I'm going there. We're getting back there. I'm just taking a scenic route, because, like, when I see a zip line, I can't oh, I don't blame use you. the zip line. Yeah, right? a zip line's gonna zip, dude. That's why they're zippy. Exactly. Exactly. You, you. This guy gets it. He. I do get it. I this get guy it gets lot. it. I found a bucket in there. All right. This is looking like hell. So I'm gonna go back to Seabring. How about that, man? Yeah, I did. Seabring, dude. Jonas, uh, would you do a zip line? Yeah, I probably would, dude. Really? Yeah. Right, cool. I mean. I mean, like, that you're in a harness. It's not like you have to, like, worry about holding on. I mean, you have to hold on, but it's not like you're holding your whole body weight. It's not like if you let go, you die. Uh, it's like you're, you're, yeah. I mean, you have a harness. I mean, you hold on with your hands, but there's a harness supporting you as well. So you're not, like, 
it's not fully dependent on your strength. Yeah, I saw on the internet yes, because that's where I buying, see because that does happen. That's where I see things. Um, I saw on the internet where there was like a problem with the zip line, and a guy had to try to stop it with his hands. Yeah, dude, that wouldn't work. No. No, I wouldn't even try because I, I would know better. Yeah, it'd be like that's that's not gonna work. Like if you go, if you think to go like this, like put your squeeze your hands on the zip line when you're going thirty miles an hour down a zip line, it's gonna rip your hands off. Ah, uh, stop! Or at least give you severe lacerations, stop. if not just take them clean off. Stop! Talk about rope burn, dude. Holy uh, ish! I think that would be an abrasion. But yeah, you definitely don't want to burn your hands. Nope. I don't want to burn. In any way, with heat, with rope, with or sin or what is that? Yeah, abrasion. Yeah, dude, I'm not gonna. I'm not. You know what? Listen, Jonas, I, I don't want to be that guy. Uh, I don't like pain. I don't. I'm not a big fan of pain. Nope. Yeah, I'm cool. dude, I don't. I really don't like. Um, what you know? What I really don't like is those little inconvenient pains. Like, oh, I got a cut. I have like an ingrown nail, and it's just like it hurts like a bee all day long. You hit it a thousand times. I'm like, I hate that. Like, this is stupid. <laughs> And then you cut the nail because it's ingrown, and it still hurts the whole rest of the day anyways because oh, yeah. it's inflamed as F. And yeah. you're like, oh, dude, I got to get that uninflamed by cutting this nail out. And then you're like, oh, I still got to suffer the rest of the day. <laughs> I don't know if I have that happen as often as you do. Or maybe I just don't, I don't uh, lament on it so much. Well, but some people have ingrown nails and some people don't. I get, like, uh, hang nails all the time. Like in my fingernails, where they like grow to the side of your skin. Yeah, I yeah, get dude, those all the time. Shish is bad. You just bite them out of there. Just get in there and just bite them out, but they hurt. You know what's weird? That pain never comes in the middle of the day. That pain always comes from overnight. Like it ain't like you wake up and in the middle of the day you're like, "Ow, it's finally broke the skin." It's always overnight, dude. Oh yeah, because it's probably like becoming infected at that point. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're all docile. Your body can't fight it off. It's like, oh, bacteria, eat it, dude. Suck it in. <laughs> Bacteria eat it, suck it in. Yeah, dude, right That's into the wound, dude, into the sep septic system. Right into your septic. Oh god, I don't want to fight you. Oh, oh you're glowy boys. Yeah, it's because I can shoot at them. So there is like a a pretty strong degree of uh, like aim assist too in this game too. Oh nice. Which is you know it is helpful. Yeah, for sure. I don't need any of these things. I probably can't even kill these guys if they're the level that they say they are. Yeah. Makes what sense. was I going to say? Zip line, bungee jump? I don't want bungee jump, dude. What's that? Zip lining and bungee jump, I'm less likely to do than skydiving. I don't understand that. Like, why is that the case? All, all of them, you're depending on a piece of equipment. Yeah, I agree. And I feel like the majority of them probably take up about the same level of... There's bad guys here? All of them take about the same level of uh, care when it comes to, like, preparation and safety procedures. D is it that... Yeah. What is it about bungee jumping? I don't want to fall head first. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You don't, oh, you don't want to go head first. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think I don't want to go head first. So are you like a, are you like a uh, middle of the roller coaster guy or you, you or your front I'll ride car? in any seat. I don't, I don't have car? a preferred, I'll ride in any car. Yeah, front, back, whatever. Wherever I get, whatever the line is shortest, when I get up there, I get in that line. I don't know, front car is a little, is a little much. <laughs> front car's rough, dude. Front cars are rough, yeah. Yeah. It's intense, dude. I'll go front. I'll go back's fun, too, because you get whipped, dude. That You're like the... You get all the inertia, dude. <laughs> yeah, I like... I'll do, like... You know... I'll do... Yeah, I'll do any car. I don't have a preference. All right, fair really. enough. Like, I... I'm trying to think. Like, like I tend... I don't think I go middle of the car. I think I either go front or back most. Because that's usually where the shortest lines are. Yes. Front and back. Because I'm like, okay, I'll just go front or back. Rather than wait in the middle for seven hours, I'll take a four-hour trip to hit the front car. I kind of feel like if you're uh, if you're gonna get on a roller coaster and you're afraid to ride in the front, though, that's one thing. Yeah, dude, I um I hadn't ridden roller coasters in a long time, and then like a year ago or two years ago, I had that Six Flags membership went down there a couple times. And rode some coasters, and I was like, these are fun. <laughs> I was like, this is fun. And I went on like a Tuesday during the day, so I didn't have to wait very long. 
But, like, I wouldn't want to go on a Saturday and wait, like, three hours to ride a 60, 70, 80 second ride, dude. I'm da I'm not good, dude. Yeah, I feel you. I do. I'll, I'll go on a Tuesday and, like, wait in line, like, 30 minutes to get on, you know. Yeah, That's cool. You know what? Lines do suck. Well, especially in Texas, dude. It's 110. You're staying in the sun for an hour and a half to ride a 90 second ride. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, dude. I'm good. I will go and I'll wait 30 minutes in the sun with a hat on. Like, that ain't bad because a lot of times there is shade, but only for the last, like, 30 minutes of the wait, dude. They don't plan on you being six miles from the damn turnstile. <laughs> well, you heard it. Jonas hates fun. <laughs> on the, on yes. the next episode. I hate every bit of fun. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've done that. He does Twitch and things. The TNT Dynamite, uh, twitch.tv, backslash TNT, yeah. forward slash T, twitch.tv, forward slash TNT Dynamite, underscore crazy town. Hang out. I think it's backslash. If, <laughs> for Jonas. <laughs> TNT. I'll catch you on the next one. We are. Oh,